Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Mixed Media Monday. So we are going to have ourselves a play. We are going to work on making some beautiful collage pieces with paint. So um, let me first say hi and hugs to Mary Medea Journal, Janet, Julie Ann, and Gertie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well, this little technique, uh, super fun. My friend um, Veronica at Triple V Vintage emailed me. She saw the, a video and she was like, Gail, I think you would love this. Well, I do. <laughs> I do. So um, we'll get into that. I wanted to acknowledge the lady who, whose video Veronica um, recommended to me. Her name is Elizabeth St. Hilaire, something like that. I'm not sure how to say her last name, Elizabeth St. Hilaire. And um, I will, I will, of course, link her video in the description box because, you know, try to give credit where credit is due. So I had an experiment and um, this is what I got and I, I do love it, but I think we can do better. So what we have here is I have Kathy, Hol Hol uh, Kathy Holden's stencil. I'm looking olives. It's called olives. I love it because it's leaves. So what you need is some of your favorite stencils. So I have Kathy's olives. I have her, what is this one? Um, oh, lace. This one's lace. This one is um, cathedral. And this one is roses or something. Rose bush. Yes, rose bush. So let's let's just have ourselves a little a little play today. So you need your stencils. I have golden fluid acrylic paints. Um, I chose the transparent ones, which are the ones with the little um, like this one shows it even better with the little lines through. Um, so if you are looking at golden paint, you'll see ones that have a solid little thing there and, um, little marks there. So have those and then thin paper, thin paper. So, um, I've got some really thin, I don't know. It's, it's from a book, but it's super thin. And I have deli paper in a couple of different shades here and ooh, I thought of another paper that I have that I wonder if I can find it super quick um hang on one second I see it of course it's at the bottom of a stack of course it is but it's this deli paper so I might try a couple of those too Alrighty then, let's play. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your uh, put something under your stencil that you don't care if it gets painty. Then you're going to put your paper on top like so. Yes, is that right? Yes. And then we are going to work on getting it all painty. So the first layer, you're gonna take, you're gonna have two colors. So the first layer you're gonna put down is the lighter. The second is the darker. Let's use this yellow ochre and green gold. And so we'll use this. I'm gonna squirt a little bit on my tray here. And then we are gonna use a credit card for this. So. So I'm just going to grab paint and then, so this first layer, you can go over as many times as you need to to cover it with your paint. Looks like I'm going to need more paint than that, doesn't it? So I'm just scraping it on, right? Well, I need like four times that. <laughs> um... Okay. 
I want it to go clear to the edges on this one, so I'm scraping it and covering every little inch. I did not do that on my deli paper, which will be, um, that's going to be probably collage fodder, where this may be a page in a journal. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so just rubbing it until I get it to cover the whole page. Okay, there we go. Pretty well, pretty well got it. Okay, um, gosh, I'm gonna grab a little wipe off sheet too. I'm just grabbing another piece of this deli paper. I'm gonna set it to my side here. And as I need to, I'll just wipe off my um, wipe off my card because I just I hate to ever waste paint. <laughs> it's just it's just a thing. And then I've got a little wipe here. I can just kind of take that off. Okay. So meanwhile, because this is pretty thin, it should have dried. Um, you could leave it to dry if you if you wanted. You could leave it, you know, overnight to dry or for an hour to dry or whatever you wanted. But since we're filming, that's not going to happen. So let's get our green out and see what happens here. Now the second layer uh, differs from the first layer in that... Um, you only want to go over once. You only want to scrape it across once. So you really need to load up your card with paint because you've, you've only got one chance here. So we're going to grab it and we're going to scrape it over. And we're going to get some more paint and we're going to scrape it over. And this one, we're going to scrape it over. Now, I could try and fix that, but I don't, I just, I just don't think you want to go over more than once because it kind of ruins your, that was better. That was fine. So, um, so there it is. That's all. You're done. <laughs> As my granddaughter would say, you're done. So, um. This one, I think, did not turn out quite as obvious. I think I had more paint on the paper. I'm going to try that same color combination on um, with the same stencil on deli paper and see what we get. That's cool, though. I will say that is cool. Should we, should we try this paper? Let's try this paper. And that just about fits the stencil, which is cool. Okay. So let's see. I better get, better get that cleaned up and put, let's see, is this pretty well cleaned up there? Okay, let's try it with this. I maybe it's maybe that paper, thin as it is, is a little too thick. I don't know. So again, just playing with this idea but I love it okay I want to cover this whole thing but I'm going to scrape it more so that it's um so that's not puddling in the negative space of the um stencil because I think I think that was what was going on with my last one and this paint dries really quickly. So really, if you don't have your paper completely soaked, it should really um, dry in between. Okay. Okay. Now let's try the green. And again, right, we're just going to 
we're going to do our best just to um, go one stroke down. Okay, I'm going to kind of see if I can hold it here. Okay, I think we can start here because I ran out of paint. Ooh, okay. Yep, this deli paper is working better. I think I better get some more paint. Yeah. Okay, it didn't really go here. Yep. I'm going to go up this way this time <laughs> just because it's awkward with the filming arm. Hmm. Cool. It's cool. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. So, okay. Now what? Now let's um, let's do a different stencil. Let me wipe this onto my wipe off. Which you know how it is. The wipe off one will be as cool as anything, probably. <laughs> okay, so let's try some uh, some different colors too, and a different stencil. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I need a new baby wipe. Okay, so I want to try the rose one, I think. So, oh, and I'm getting fun things on my drop paper, too. Let's see. I'm going to set this behind. Okay, so let's try this. Let's do a white deli paper. It's just a white deli paper there. And I've got this cobalt teal and cobalt blue. Let's see what happens if we do those. So this one we're going to cover as much as the paper as we can. I'm just basically gonna go with the stencil. It's got a little green in it, I don't care. Oh, it's just so fun to get messy, isn't it? Might have to invest in some bigger bottles of paint if I continue to play with this because you do go through a bit of paint. But what fun papers, huh? Okay. Might go quicker with um, smaller stencils too, but you know, I love my Kathy Holden stencils. Let me get all these little white spaces too. Okay, well, one more probably little bit and we should have it. It's very awkward over here because of my filming arm. <laughs>
And again, this will be collage, so I'm not as worried about it being just so as I was that page. Okay, that's pretty wet. We're just going to go over one time with the blue. Hope it's not too wet still. You know what? Let's give it a quick dry with my heat tool. Just a quick one. Um, see if that helps a little bit. I can, there's spots where I can see the paint puddling. So maybe just a quick little... Because I don't want to hurt my stencil either. Yeah, that's that's much better. That's much drier in those deep spots than it was. Okay. Good, good. Ooh, let's take a look at this while that dries a minute. As this dries, it's I think it's really getting cool. Isn't that neat? Okay, cool. This one makes it very crinkly too. I like how the leaves almost left like little bursts there or something. Okay, dark blue. Let's try this. Let's see where we can get to. Okay, I want more of that because can only go over once. Ooh, that is a pretty blue. Okay, keep your fingers crossed for me. <gasps> Let me go this way just... And like I say, this is for collage, so it's going to be torn up anyway. So I'm not going to worry about some little spots where it's not there. Oh man, this is a pretty combo though. I love this. Okay, so. Ah, paper's moving. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, the stencil is not super obvious, but... Ooh, you know what? Using my heat tool, my paper stuck to my stencil a bit. Interesting. I Probably because there's a kind of deli paper has, I don't know, it has a bit of a little waxy to it. So, oops, there's a hole. That's okay. Like I say, it's just, oh, I see it attached to the paper below as well okay well we won't do that again but nevertheless i love that Ooh, that's cool okay i need to make some room somewhere for my things to dry oh i can put them on my down here that one dry for a while and see what it looks like well that was cool that was kind of cool i learned something don't use your heat gun you guys probably already knew that 
Um, let's try the cathedral one and see what other colors we might have. I got this little envelope right here from last week that I am just going to scrape a little of that on. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Um, we have this little deli paper that's just got these little dots on it. Let's try that. And let's see. Let's tr let's try this. I don't know how it's going to work because these are super old. These are from my mixed media days, but and that was <laughs> probably old to begin with. But let's try it. I did try and shake it a bit and I ended up getting red paint all over everything because one of my grandkids probably used it and didn't didn't close it. Whoopsie. This is super runny, so I don't know how this is going to work. We'll just see. It's pretty. And it's kind of neat how those dots show through. So it's almost like this first coat, you're creating the background, right? And then when you go over it with the darker color, it's supposed to, supposed to pick up the um, stencil. And I don't know, I could, I could not be pressing hard enough. There's a lot of variables here, but... You know, I'm having fun, and I'm liking how things are turning out, so I guess that's all that matters, right? Just have fun. Okay. Got a little bit that's going to go on our mop-up paper. Well, that is a dominant color. That is taking over my mop-up paper. <laughs> Remember when there used to be green on it? Yep, yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. My husband's going outside, so it must not be raining. We were supposed to get rain all afternoon, but I looked out, and I didn't think it was doing anything, and I, I don't think it still is. Okay. So there was that. Okay, so then I have, so that was, what was that? Naphthol red light? I don't know. It's very red though. Very red. Close that up. And this one is quinacridone magenta. So we'll see how it is. Oh, I should give it a little shake. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of excited to... Okay, that is... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how th this could be a hot mess. We shall see. Oh, it's making the... It, you can see where the stencil is. I keep moving it though, so I don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna be perfect. We knew that when I started, didn't we? <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay. 
I'm, I think I'm getting the hang of the tilt of the card. If you go too up and down, it, um, if you go too up and down, it scrapes it all off. If you go flatter, then it, um, you get more pattern, like right there. So that's good to know. Hmm. Okay. Well, good. I learned something there. Okay, so we'll, we'll set that one aside. I do, I do like that, though. And it's kind of cool with the dots behind, too. Okay, where am I going to... I'm running out of place to sit. I didn't get out my, didn't get out my shower curtain. I should have. Okay, so we'll put you right there and see how that does. <laughs> I like that color, though. That's really pretty. So I wonder what a teal with that would be like. Should we try it? Let's do it. Let's get crazy here. That's a pretty, that's pretty. I've got, got little um, baby wipes everywhere drying. Okay, so I wanna try this stencil too. This one is the lace one. What did I do with the leaf one? Oh, I put it behind me, didn't I? Okay, so this one, we are going to try, I think I'm going to just use regular deli again. And I'm going to try the turquoise on the, on the first layer. This has potential. I mean, to be honest, I like just the first layer too. I mean, it's kind of cool with the stencil behind it. I kind of wanted to try, I've got some Got some brown too. So I have one other color combination that I want to try. I think we have time. Okay. Oops. Flinging paint everywhere. It's just what I do. Okay. Okay. So. I can get myself unstuck from everything. Okay. Okay, then we're going to try the uh, quinacridone, yeah, quinacridone magenta. See what see what happens. I'm 
Remember, we're only going over once. So load up here. Oh yeah, go flat, Gail. If I go flat, it all, there we go. I'd encourage you to watch her video. She does it, she does this much better than I, but, um, I'm having fun. Go. That worked. I do kind of like the turquoise poking through, though. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So there's that one. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these papers, and I think I wanna use the leaves. And I wanna use a different different color combo. So let's get some of this on here. Okay. I think I'm going to put this over to dry because that is pretty. Okay. Okay. So this time I want to use um, Nickel Azo and Burnt Umber Light. See what happens. Okay, let me get out a baby wipe. Okay. That's an interesting color. I'm going to use a different credit card because that one's pretty gooped up. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm going to say I think this is going to be one of my favorite stencils to do this with. I feel like like maybe the lace was a bit too um, intricate, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that it spreads really nice on that. So, okay, so I got a little, a little too much here. Let's just put some on here. Okay. Not much space left on my sheet, so... The envelope's getting the most of it. Okay. So now, we're, oh, look at what I just did. There is a big old splotch of turquoise over here that I somehow did. Okay. Let's use the Burnt Umber Light and see, see what this does. And again, this time we're just going to go once. I'm reminding myself as much as you. If I can get these spots where they're where we missed. 
I mean, it's still a cool effect. It's just different than the one pulled down. Oh, I do like that though. I wanted to try that color combo and see what I thought. And I do like that. Okay, I've run out of room to put things. So I'm going to show you these are, let's see, let's, let's clean up here a little bit. Oh, okay. So let's just, just see what we did. Let's see what, how we doing. Oh yeah. If this is going to be a shorter video, but I really did want to share this technique with you and thank you so much Veronica for thinking of me to share it with so that I could share it with everybody else so okay funny enough my first one might be one of my favorites so that's the one I did off camera just to practice and I do love it it turned out great so these are going to take a while to dry I think and then this one this one turned out pretty good too. I, you know, I like them all. They're just, they're all just different. Um, this one, same, you know, look at how different the same, um, the same stencil was. I mean, this just picked up the cracks in between the leaves on this one is what happened. So interesting. Okay, then down here, have this poor little guy who got a little bit trashed, but I like it. I think it's going to be pretty on collage. I love the colors. Okay, so that goes down there. Let's see, what else did we do? We did this one. And as this is drying, I'm liking it more and more. It's almost like with that color of red and then the magenta over it, it turned it kind of orangish, orange and maroonish looking. Okay, and then we did this one. And that's just happy colors, love that. And then our last one, I think that's gonna be really cool too. And then this is our wipe-off sheet. But it's kind of neat in its own way. I mean, we put a stencil over that and do something or jelly plate over the top of it. That'll be cool. So there you have it. It's the, I, would, I don't know what I'll call this. Maybe I'll look at that other video and see what she called it. But it's, it's basically um, liquid paint translucent liquid paint over a stencil so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you'll be able to give it a try it's a great way for me to use some supplies and some paint that um i haven't used in a while so i was excited about that too so we will just see you in the next video guys have a grateful day and um be kind to one another see you later bye